Hello everybody, welcome back to the Spoked Wheel YouTube channel. We are back today with another one day race. It's been a little while since we've had a women's world tour race on the channel, and given that Liege Baston Liege is taking place this Sunday, the 25th, uh, it seemed like a good time to ride the women's edition of LBL. Um, so on the men's side of things, Liege Baston Liege is known as the oldest classic. Um, in the women's peloton, it's only been on the calendar since 2017, so still a relatively recent event. We have the 2019 and the 2018 routes to pick from. We're going to go 2019 because it has a lot more of those punchy hills that Liege Baston Liege is known for. Um, it's a little bit shorter as well, but I think the amount of climbing on the menu makes up for that. Um, last year it was won by Lizzie Dynan in 2020, so obviously the route is different, but given that this is a 2020 database, we'll see if she can, uh, repeat that and recreate history. Um, but that's the race we're going to do. We're now going to get into team selection. So as I said, uh, this race in terms of the women's version of the race has only been taking place since 2017 which means that uh it's missing on the palmares of the greatest of all time mariana voss so we're going to be playing as cc live to try and correct that basically um obviously in 2021 mariana voss is now riding for the yumbo visma team but given that this is a 2020 database we have the riders on the 2020 teams so she will be leading ccc live we have some decent support riders, um, specifically Ashley Moulman Pasio and Soraya Paladin, uh, both very strong riders who could contend for victory in their own right at this race. Um, so we're going to hope that they'll be able to keep us in a decent position. Voss has a very strong hill rating in this database, and with that 81 sprint, 82 acceleration, if we get to the line in any sort of small group, we should be able to win in a sprint. So basically our strategy is going to be to try and hold on to the kind of punchier riders, the pure climbers like Anna van der Bregen, Annemiek van Vloyt, and Cassia Nui Adoma if they're all at the race uh, and hopefully take it down to a sprint where we should have the upper hand on riders like that. So like I said, we're going to have a very strong team working for Mariana Voss today. Um, Ashley Moulman Passio actually has a better hill rating up at 82, so she's going to be really strong for us over the punchy climbs that make this race what it is. Soraya Paladin and Rianne Marcus are also sort of in that same boat, both with 80 hill rating. So that's three teammates right there that we should be able to count on, um, basically staying with Voss until just about the very end of the race. Um, so hopefully uh if the kind of more explosive punchers that i mentioned your van der Bregen, van Vleutens, uh if they're able to get a gap at any point hopefully we'll be able to use these three riders to stitch things back together and chase down moves for mariana voss um then we also have a few other riders ev keepers with 80 flat rating is going to be important i think to protect mariana voss early on in the race and then we also have Sabrina Stultens as well. Decent all-arounder, good on the flat, uh, and decent on the hills too. Um, so I like our team. The magazine is predicting Van der Bregen and Van Vleuten as the top two favorites. And then Mariana Voss, our team leader, is the third favorite. Elisa Longo Borghini and Cassia Nui Adoma round out the top five. So not really a huge surprise there those are some of the biggest names in women's cycling so um it's to be expected that they're going to be up there um lizzie dynan who actually won this race in 2020 is on that list as well cecily a trip ludwig is another rider to keep an eye out and then our two teammates paladin and woman pasio both are on this list also so that just goes to show you the strength of the ccc live team that we're going to be working with um in terms of equipment, we have pretty much everything selected on lightness, which is going to be important for the sort of steady, punchy climbs. 
And then our strategy, we have Mariana Voss as the leader, Paladin and Moomin Pasio as the free elements, which makes sense given that our, they are our second and third strongest riders. And then our other three riders on the day are just gonna be fulfilling teammate roles. Um, realistically, all of these riders outside of Voss are gonna be teammates because we're going all in for Voss to try and get the win. But if something does happen and the race splits up in a weird way, I do also feel confident given that we have Moomin Pasio and Paladin as well uh, as backup options, basically. We're underway now at Liege Best on Liege. Uh, we have Evie Coopers protecting Mariana Voss because of her 80 flat rating. I actually would have liked to put Sabrina Stultens into the early breakaway to have a rider up there. Unfortunately, she started right at the back of the pack, so that's not going to be possible. The breakaway is already looking like it's gone before we could get up to the front. Um, so instead, I think we'll probably just have her contribute to the pacemaking uh, in the early portion of the race um, to try and keep things relatively in check, I suppose. Um, in terms of what we're thinking tactically, it's basically just going to be all about using our support riders, um, Paladin, Moomin Pasio, Marcus, to protect Mariana Voss and keep her in a good position. Um, and then hopefully she can stay with the big favorites like Van Vleuten and Van der Bregen up over the final climbs to have a chance uh, at taking the finish to a sprint, which I would be very confident in Mariana Voss winning against the likes of those riders. So I think it's going to be a crazy race. There's so many different launching pads and attack points, so our teammates are going to be really important in this one to basically try and keep things in check and make sure that we have Mariana Voss in the best possible position. She does have a nice plus one race day condition, so she gets, in particular, this plus two to the hill rating is going to be important because that would take her up to 83, which is very, very good. Um, but yeah, we're just going just gonna to try and stay at the front of the peloton out of trouble and make sure that we always have teammates in the area basically to look after Mariana Voss and keep her in the best possible position. We're getting into the serious climbing section now inside of a, a hundred kilometers to go. We have Coopers and Stultons contributing to the pacemaking. Uh, Marcus is currently protecting Van Vleuten and then we have Moomin Pasio and Paladin hanging out right behind her as well. Um, that's kind of how we thought it would go basically with Stultons and Coopers being our teammates that would, we would use earlier on in the race and then the four riders of Voss, Paladin, Marcus, and Moomin Pasio I would expect to have more of a role to play as the race goes on. Really we have four riders here who could potentially win this race. Um, so we do have options, although we're going to be riding for Voss unless something goes wrong with our original plan. Then we will turn to the backup options. Um, but I think we will have the strength in those Voss and then those three other riders to hopefully make things uh, turn out how we want um, and put Voss in a position to try and win the race. So we're just about at the halfway point of this race. Um, Stultons did a great job riding on the front for a huge number of kilometers, but she's now out of the group. We're in a peloton of just 16 riders, so we have our little train of four set up here. Marcus is the first rider, Moomin Passio, then it looks like Paladin will be the last rider to be able to stay with Mariana Voss. Um, so I think basically we're just going to try and use the three riders ahead of Voss to keep the group together for as long as possible. Um, there's only, Like I said, there's only 16 riders in this group, so there's not a ton of firepower outside of the, the favorites and the team leaders to try and make moves. Um, so we'll just try and sit up at the front, maybe ride a little bit with our teammates um, just to keep the pace up and make sure there are no attacks. Uh, and actually the pace is going out now, so let's ride, although we'll, although we'll put it 
way down to about 75 or even 70 i think is fine um yeah so basically just the job of marcus movement Passio and paladin is to keep the group together for as long as possible and put voss in a good position so she doesn't have to hopefully respond to very many attacks from the big favorites over the final few climbs here we're down to 15 riders now in the group trek is riding pretty hard for elisa longo borghini they're using ellen van dyke and ruth winder to try and set pace we have ashley moomin passio on the front she's going to run out of energy fairly soon um and then we're going to be down to basically just a couple teammates here Rian Marcus is also fairly low on energy, but we want to try and keep the pace as high as we can here um, up over this climb. Uh, and hopefully maybe we can even drop a few riders, uh, but we will see. So yeah, it's now down to 12 riders. Uh, we're starting to get towards the real, real serious part of the race. Ashley Mullman Passio is out of the back of the group now. So, uh, and that's a move that we actually really need to respond to so time to use soraya paladin um she's been pretty well protect pr protected here for the majority of the race um so we're going to try and use her to chase down lizzie dinan and longo borghini that is a very dangerous pairing um that we cannot allow to go off the front right now um and in the group behind it's basically just 11 riders so there we go. Great job by Soraya Paladin to chase that group down. Let's ease off the gas a little bit. Don't want to use all her energy here. Um, I'll take it down to 65 for this flatter section. But I think we're in a pretty good spot. 10 riders with Mariana Voss and a teammate who's still looking pretty strong. So we're just going to basically try and continue... Uh, as Lizzie Dining goes again, basically just try and continue um, limiting things and managing things. And if Trek wants to ride, that's fine. They can do that. Um, we're not opposed to just kind of sitting here and trying to stay in the best position possible. This, These final two climbs here, basically, I guess you could count three uphill sections, I think are going to decide the race. So we're just going to have Soraya Paladin basically try and usher Mariana Voss through it. Uh, we have her on 99 effort, so she should be riding all out to stay with these riders. There's a move from Annemiek van Vleuten. Let's see if we can follow it with Paladin first. Vanderbregen on her wheel. Uh, Nui Adoma also, and Longo Borghini. So this group of six is basically the big huge favorites uh and we're in a very good spot because we managed to get paladin and mariana voss in this group the pace has gone out of it a little bit so we're gonna come to the front with paladin there's another move coming now from longo borghini this is kind of the concern now i'd imagine there's going to be a whole lot of attacks and paladin is actually out of energy now so we need to respond to this move with Mariana Voss herself. Although it looks like that's not quite going to happen. If we can just close down this gap with Voss, which I think we can, we can sit on here. Perfect. Okay. So we're still, by tooth and nail, we're in this group of six with Paladin and Voss. Um inside of 10 kilometers to go that's really perfect let's put paladin on relay and put it up to 85 um, just so if the pace ever goes out she'll go to the front and be up there um, and then we have mariana voss to basically prepare for the sprint um, there is one final climb i have a feeling animique van vleuten is going to be the strongest and she's going to be the one to try and go so we're going to follow her wheel as we head into this final climb uh, we're basically inside of five kilometers to go now so let's use the energy gel on mariana voss and let's see if animique van vleuten wants to attack here uh, she does indeed so we picked the right wheel to follow we just have to try and hang in on the cote de saint nicolas 
the iconic climb that often decides Liege best on Liege. Mariana Voss doing a great job so far as we head into three kilometers to go. Annemiek van Vleuten is still applying the pressure. We're still in a great position in a group of four now. Um, it's van Vleuten, van der Bregen, Longo Borghini, and ourselves, Mariana Voss. We're second wheel. Cassia Nivia Doma has come back. Let's open up the sprint with Mariana Voss. First through this final bend. And first to the line, Mariana Voss gets the victory to add Liege Baston Liege to her already incredibly impressive Palmares. Um, wow, yeah, I think that was a really exciting finish, and it went just about as perfectly as we could have imagined um, in terms of how we planned it at the start with our support riders putting Voss in a position to finish off a bunch sprint. So. We almost, I think, could have even started sprinting a little bit early. That final bend in the last kilometer made it so we could have gone to the front a little bit earlier. But when we came out of that bend, we clearly had the best acceleration and best sprint. Uh, and we pulled away from everyone else with Mariana Voss. So in the end, it was Elisa Longo Borghini who finished second, Van Vleuten third after all her efforts to split up the race, Van der Bregen fourth, and Cassia Nui Adoma fifth. I don't recall exactly, but I'm pretty sure that top five is the top five riders that were predicted in the magazine at the start of the race. Uh, and then we had our teammate Soraya Paladin in six, which is deserved after all the hard work she did basically there at the end to keep Voss up in that group. So I'm really happy with that result. That went basically exactly how we needed it to go in order to get the win. So here we have the final results one last time. Um, Mariana Voss was the strongest of the, the group of five favorites. Watching the replay back again, um, I, I think we could have started sprinting earlier, but in the end it didn't really matter because we had the best finish and the best acceleration, especially to get up to speed out of that last corner. Um, I think Annemiek van Vleuten kind of opened up the sprint but Elisa Longo Borghini was faster and able to come around in the end. Um, but it's a very strong podium, very strong top five, basically the five riders you'd expect to be up there. And then in terms of our three big teammates, we had Soraya Paladin in six, Rianne Marcus in 11th, and Ashley Moomin Passio in 15th. So all four of our big riders were up there towards the, the, the front end of the race. Four riders in the top 15 at a, a classic, a monument like Liege Best on Liege is pretty impressive. Uh, so I think we adequately capitalized on the strength of our team in terms of the result we were able to get. Um, Sabrina Stulton's also with a great 20th place. She did a lot of work early on to bring back the breakaway and m essentially make it so the four riders on our team who finished ahead of her had to do the least amount of work as possible in the early part of the race. And then E.B. Coopers was our final finisher, 75th place. Again, she did a lot of work early on. We took her because of her flat rating, so she protected Mariana Voss in the flatter section in the early part of the race and also did some pacemaking on the front of the peloton to bring back the breakaway as well. So. I guess that's that. That's a, That was a really exciting race, a really exciting finish, and I'm very glad that we were able to get the win with Mariana Voss. And I guess we'll see on Sunday whether or not uh, Mariana Voss in real life can add this race to her collection of victories. Um, like I said at the start, she is, at least in my opinion, the undisputed greatest of all time in women's cycling. Uh, so it would be very cool to see her add this big race to her list of victories um and she's been on very good form already so far this season so she has a decent shot i think um but yeah i wouldn't be surprised if the top five on sunday looks an awful lot like this top five right here um but anyways i hope you all enjoyed the video this was a this one was a ton of fun to play so i hope it turns out to be an exciting video as well um thank you again for the support and i will see you next time